Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Oh, let me grab my controller. There we go. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and once again, if you can hear the sounds in the background, it is the air conditioner and the fan because it is still super hot today. In fact, it's been just super hot for the last few days. It's not as bad as it was two days ago, but ugh. This is the sort of heat that I believe qualifies as an FML situation. For those of you who don't know what FML means, I will translate. Fuck my life. Okay, right, so. Let's go ahead and roll the die, see what soundtrack we get. Alright, doing the classics. Alright, so today's run is going to be somewhat similar to the other run. But I am, I am going to do it with one key difference. I'm going to keep the same robe and everything. And we're doing this again, because it's fun. While we're doing this, why don't I just quick ask, how many of you really like when the weather is super hot? I'm not just talking about, like, you know, 70 degrees and, you know, re reasonably warm. I mean... I mean, goddamn hot. Like, not just hot, but goddamn hot. I'm talking, like, between 85 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter. How many of you actually like that? And don't, don't lie. Not that I, not like I can tell if you are or not. I'm just saying, it, you know, it's, 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 not a, it's not a good habit to lie. And ultimately, I will I will say the same thing I I generally say about things like that, which is you know to each their own. I'm just not sure I can I can agree with you on that. That would have been a time where control stick aiming would have been better. Oopsie poopsie. Alright, we're almost through this. Don't worry, you'll... I'll explain what the run is going to be in just a little bit here. Also, is it just me or is the text misaligned in those text boxes? And it's like the most minor of points, but I'm bringing it up because it just caught my attention. No, it's not misaligned, but <clears throat> I mean, they could stand to increase the size of the text box by like a couple of pixels. All right, so today we are doing doing the goodness gracious great balls of fire run. And in order to make this run a thing, we are going to be using Hold on. We're going to be using Bouncing Blaze, we're going to be using Flare Rush, we're going to be using Fractal Flare, we're going to be using Exploding Fireball. In case you're wondering why I'm not taking Nev's Ruby, there's no guarantee that I am going to find spells that are both Fire Element and Spherical. Because that is the that is the crux of this run, is that I am, make, I am making it so that everything has to be Spherical. And in case, in case you're going, that sounds really, that sounds really random, or random and specific. Why would you do that? I don't know, I had the song stuck in my head today. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Um, cool. I wasn't going to start there, but screw it. We're just going to go for it. Oh, great. I have two bosses that are, that resist my balls of fire.
There we go. Alright, so what are, what exactly are we looking for? I mean, a lot of the usuals, but I mean, if, if Freak's matchstick would probably be a good one to have. Um, well, I mean, let's, let's just see what we get. Somehow or another, we'll find something that works out. Tapping gloves, that's a good one, but let's wait on that until we can find Iris and see if she's willing to give us something even more helpful. Oh, that wasn't smart. Oh, hey, there's the boss room. Great, not what I wanted. <clears throat> so, I'm, a, I'm certain that the inevitable, inevitable question will, will come up of how were things at work. And I'll tell you how things at, were at work. They were... All right, it was, pretty, it was a pretty serviceable day. I got to work a route that I really liked. <clears throat> I, I feel I did a good job. There's not much more you can ask for beyond that. Supervisors today were friendly and amicable. It was it was just a good day. Outside of the idea that the air conditioning at the office was out, so I'm sure you can imagine how that made a lot of us feel when you're getting overheated before you've ever left for for your route. It makes things. Makes things very iffy. Now, because there is the possibility that I might not find another... another Arcana, because I'm strictly going for things that are both spherical and fire... and fire elements, Something that would help me reduce my cooldowns would be greatly appreciated. And Discord is going nuts. Hey, look at that. We have more control. Discord is going really nuts. Hey, yeah, well, with Bouncing Blaze upgraded, we've got much more control over the battlefield, and I could not be happier about that. Uh, actually, I just want to be here. Um, what do you have, good sir? Now, if I had known that Titan's Equilibrium was going to be there, I would have taken that and... and then gone to upgrade Bouncing Blaze. As is... Ugh. Like, I could still take it, don't get me wrong, but I don't really want to unenhance Bouncing Blaze at this point. I'm gonna grab that, just in case. So then we'll grab that and that. Now, I'm pretty sure that some of you are going to say that not taking Titan's Equilibrium is a mistake. And, I mean, I guess even the birds think it was a mistake. I don't know. I will counter that with, 
you know, sometimes I have a hard time upgrading Bouncing Blaze. I just wanted to keep the upgrade. Oh, I thought I had... I thought I had my exploding fireball back. Whoops! I hear you. Don't worry. Daddy is going to make everything better once he's done recording. You know, and getting beat up by, by, you know, big macho Chuck Norris moves. I mean, we can upgrade Fractal Flare, but I am going to wait on that in case we get to talk to either Dr. Song or Nocturne. You know, what I probably should have done on the previous floor. But, I mean, that's the one scenario that pops up where you feel stupid for not upgrading your basic as soon as you can. Tiny surface area and many, many enemies. I'm not gonna feel stupid for every bit of damage that I take. Just understand that damage was taken and it was difficult to avoid. But the doctor is right there, I can see her there. Jesus. Yeah, when enemies can when enemies are coming from the top or the bottom of the screen, it can be really hard to see them. That's actually one of the things that makes playing in co-op a little difficult sometimes, is mm. if your if your co-op partner is having a hard time keeping up with you, then you can get ambushed pretty hard from the top or the bottom of the screen. That having been said, I do enjoy playing co-op, and, you know, at some point or another, I'm going to want to make it... <sighs> yeah, I like the idea of the evening glove. I also like the idea of the giant's heart. Tell you what, I'm just going to take the evening glove. And now I don't... now I can just hold down the button. Wouldn't it be a trip if I ended up just going through the entire run with just these four Arcana? Now I'm hoping to find another spherical fire-based Arcana, but I have to I have to be aware of and prepare prepared for the idea that that might just not come to pass. I hope I didn't say come to pass. I swear I know my grammar. Ow, I... I hubris. There we go. Lady Zeal, I appreciate you, 
but simultaneously, I still need to work my way past you. Oh, I just realized, by all rights, I'm going up against all of the female council members. You can go away, because I want to use this on these guys. And, of course, the friggin' decoration blocked one of the fireballs. Thanks. Discord, someone really wants to get my attention. I hope I haven't done something bad. Alright, well, if I... I mean, by all rights, I probably should grab that to enhance my dash, but... I also want to see if... Here we go. And there are spheres here, but they're not fire-based. Alright, so then, yes, we're gonna grab that. Got a very awkward run right now. Or at least an awkward collection of relics. Hey, how did that reach? And I'm sure if I go back and look again, it'll make sense, but I'm looking at it right now going, that didn't feel right. Alright, It's Nocturne. Alright, so we can see if we can get a get a little bit on the fortunate side and see if Nocturne can help us out. <laughs> Sir, I would like you to give me a fire-based spell that ejects its power in the form of a sphere. There we go. We did get one. I don't know if that counts or not. It's not a good arcana, but... I mean, it says fireball, so I'm going with it. Alright, we have more combat options now, and I'm always happy to have more combat options. Also, I've, I've brought this up before, but the way that Blazing Onslaught works, it just reminds me of Vegeta just grabbing someone and going ham. of the map have we cleared? 99? Yeah, that's good. Let's get out of here! There we go. Matter of fact, I kind of feel like Vegeta going ham on, on the enemies right now. I don't care about the special snowflake. Besides, and as soon as I get to Freya's level, it's not going to make much of a difference anyway. Am 
Now, as far as the Discord messages, because that's just that just came back to mind. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. So, you know, if you're watching if you're watching this video, I apologize for not responding to you right away. I just, you know, in the middle of recording, so I apologize. Okay, so that was that was a mistake known as I put myself in the corner. Don't put yourself in the corner. By the way, I should also explain the reason why I didn't take the the combo gloves to get a fourth fire fireball out of this volley is because for God knows whatever reason the fourth fireball comes out comes off with a frame delay and even with the, what the heck I didn't even go out of my way to it, to conjure two this time. All right, I see two things there I want, but first I have to survive this encounter. Okay, survived. So now let's grab... Actually, I see three things here I want. Uh... Kinda wish I hadn't picked that up now. Yeah, do that. Because with increase, with the increased healing, yes, it would be nice to have Pathfinder's knapsack, but I get the feeling I'll be just fine without it. By the way, Blazing Onslaught counts as movement and projectile. All right. So this can, so that one can be can be boosted with the. Soccer, please. Just a little something to think about. That was an easy thing. And you have to think about that one. Like, even without the flashy boots, you still get more movement speed out of dashing everywhere, so... It's kind of like playing Symphony of the Night. Alucard moves faster when you, when you literally backdash through the entire game. And that's not even like a speedrunning trick, that's... That's just how the game works. My boy Alucard moves faster going backwards than he does forwards. I don't want you to ever forget that. Speaking of which, I haven't played Symphony of the Night in a while. I need to find a good, reliable way to play that. Now, I know Konami recently re-released Symphony, Symphony of the Night on the, play, on the PS, what is it, PS4, PS5, or both. Oh, I'm smart. Now... I get the feeling that they would that they'd be making bank if they re-released it on the Switch, but for God only knows whatever reason, they don't want to do that because this is Konami we're talking about, and if it isn't a pachinko machine, they don't know what to do with it. That is not spherical fire, so I must leave you. Take heed, though. <clears throat> Perfect storm, we will meet again.
Oof. All right. Don't mess with don't mess with a practice pyromancer. I will burn your socks off and force you to go to the store to buy new socks. No one wants to buy new socks. Okay, you guys are the worst. Could you go away, please? Yeah, sorry. I'm not gonna replace all my. Uh, I'm not gonna replace all my relics with cursed ones. I know. I know my luck. I know what's gonna happen if I do that. Go away. Here is nothing here is a flaming spheroid, so I must pass. Oh, pardon me. Dark Sage led the strangest uh, that's the strangest challenge run I've ever played. I don't know why I decided that that place should be from New York, but going to probably gonna need a health potion. Alright, that's two mimics in one level. Can we make it three? Can we go for the hat trick? Yes, I know that's a hockey term, but they also use it in, in, equ in equestrian sports. That's, uh, or at least I think they call it, I don't know. Don't look to me for sports knowledge. I can give, I can give you very limited knowledge about, about sporting events and terms. I don't know anything about specific players or stats or... Why American football insists? Well, why American football insists on using a on using an object that is not a ball, nor nor is often very nor is very often coming into contact with one's foot. It is the most stupidly named sport in the history of sports, and yet just go with it. Oh no, we've we've missed the red portal. Well, we didn't miss it; we just didn't find it. Okay. I like it, but unfortunately, it is not a spheroid that has that has come busted. I cannot have it. Eh, it's, it would be nice to get two things boosting how much healing I receive from every source, but simultaneously, eh, no. I don't want to, I don't want to take another relic slot to do that.
So this just came to mind, and I don't know how how exactly it would work or anything like that, but hear me out. Wizard of Legend, the movie. Like I don't I don't know what the story would be or anything else. I'm just for some reason I started thinking, okay, who, who would play who? Who is our Wizard of Legend and what bullshit story is Hollywood gonna come up with or why this is even why this is even happening? Like I don't trust it would be at all good, but I mean, you know, it just came to mind, and I kind of wanted to share. I don't know, make of that what you will. Discuss in the comments, who do you, th who do you think would be the best choice to play any to play any given role? I vote for Dwayne The Rock Johnson to play the part of Atlas. Okay, kind of tired of you. All right, we're now in danger modes. And depending on how many roles she has to fulfill as Black Widow, maybe we get Scarlett Johansson to play Zeal. I don't know. Again, just thinking. Now, that having been said, no, I don't want to see another Hollywood adaptation of a video game. I mean, this is Hollywood we're talking about. Hollywood understands, understands video games about as well as EA understands pride and accomplishment. Oh, that didn't work. And all, all you need to do to understand how well Hollywood understands the movie, understands video games, and any possible way to translate them into something that resembles resembles a decent story that you know follows the general rule of movies of show don't tell. All you got to do is see how well they adapted things like the Warcraft movie. Oh yeah, that's trash. Or. Or how about Alone in the Dark? Yeah, that was really good, wasn't it? And of course, who can forget about the legendary tale of the Super Mario Brothers movie? I know some of you out there are going to want to defend that. I'm sorry, but that movie is legendarily bad. Like, it takes a lot for me to snub something that's got the Super Mario Brothers label, but I've done it before. I mean, Mario's Time Machine, Mario is Missing. These are, these are things that kind of deserve that. Mario teaches typing is pretty awful. And of course, who can forget Hotel Mario? And the honest answer to that is everybody. Everybody can forget Hotel Mario and the world would be a better place. So it's not like the name Mario just 
just exudes quality 100% of the time, but to be fair, Mario's track record is pretty good. Like, even, even the bad Mario Party games are still pretty good in comparison to some of the other trash that sometimes gets beat out by the people they market. Oh, I thought she was doing something else. Oops. Oh, come on! This is not a, this is not going well. Okay, that was a particularly bad fray of light. Yeah, that's not spherical. Just because it hits in a round area doesn't mean it's spherical. No, that's more of a donut. And donuts are not spheres. Too many stupid things. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. Mmm, thank you, fiery paintbrush. You are my friend. Okay. Uh, nah, I think. Because I can't affect Sura with the burn status effect, I think. We're just gonna have to go. Let's see, 38 times 5. I think if it doesn't heal me to full, it'll get close. And it did heal me to full, so... No complaints. You're about to be crushed under the weight of my balls of fire. What, what did you think I meant? Wait, why did you throw it in that direction? telling me that I just gave him a back massage? You know, with my balls? A fire? Again, what did you think I meant? Wait, you're saying that this is perhaps the most immature run I've ever done? That can't be true. There has to be something even more immature that I've joked about on these runs. Hey, come on. You think I'm going out of my way to make balls jokes? You must you must be out of your mind. This is this is a wholesome channel. What would make you think otherwise? Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go play with my balls. Billiards, I'm about to go play billiards. God, get your head out of the gutter. Alright, well that's enough of this odd run. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share it with a, share it with your friends. Even if they don't play Wizard of Legend, surely someone out there has to be into playing with my balls. I mean, dodgeball. Again, get your head out of the gutter. <clears throat> but, uh, sincerely though, thank you everyone for continuing to support me. I really do appreciate it. I am going to be working on doing some doing some doing some new things, and I think part of that is going to be is going to also be analyzing PvP matches because I found this really cool group that does PvP stuff, and if nothing else, I'm interested in seeing how they play. Sounds like fun to me, and I'm very interested in seeing what they what they pull off with their matches. So that's, that's a project for me to work on, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I...
I will have the hiccups and see you in the next one. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.